any genetic damage, you have ability when you're at one with God to heal instantly. So any genetic damage can be healed instantly, and then you can connect with them. And the fortunate thing for many people that have experienced things like Down syndrome and those kind of things where they're not always conscious of what's going on in their surroundings, and not that a Down syndrome is like that. A Down syndrome is a bit of a mixture of two, but there are other types of things that they're not fully conscious of what's going on in their surroundings. What actually happens is they don't absorb the emotion of that. They only, sorry, they only absorb the emotion of that surrounding. They don't absorb the intellectual messages and all the other things. And so often they have a lot less damage as a result. They have a lot less blockages to feeling their emotion. And so when you heal them, they then can process through things very rapidly because they don't have the blockages that have been established over our life of years and years and years of suppression. So is the only reason they're not dealing with that stuff now is because they haven't the desire in their heart to, to do that? No, the, a, Down's, a Down's child is a result of the, of the multi-generational law of attraction of parents, grandparents and so forth. So again, it's due to emotions that are unhealed in the parents and grandparents and so forth being passed down to the child and being passed in a way that has affect the de, affected the genetic structure of the amalgamation of the sperm and the egg cell. And so it's created a, a, a genetic problem which is then, which then the child is incarnated into. That genetic problem can be repaired and then the child can have a normal soul response to, to everything rather than through an impaired response. The actual impaired responses generally are uh, save the children from even more distress than a normal child would normally receive. So actually, there are many, many Down syndrome children. I've, I often walk past Down syndrome children, say, in a shopping centre, and can feel their condition. And a person their age often is in a much worse condition than the, than the Down syndrome person in their age. And I can feel the differences in their condition. And so often a person who's got Downs might be in a second sphere condition already, Whereas a person in the same age normally might would normally be in a first fear condition, and it's because of the because not all of the emotions have impacted them, so they're actually, in a way, their own condition is saving them from from worse things occurring in many cases. And when a Down syndrome child, for instance, chooses to do damaging things to others, if the choice the choices are very much based around the parents' unresolved emotions, so God actually attributes those emotions through the law of conversation to the parent not to the child. So, so that's one other thing to bear in mind.